Hi, good morning. This is Charlie. Um, today we're gonna be taking a look at the wireless streaming. Um, it's, uh, it's a little gadget so that you can stream stuff from your um, computer to your TV wirelessly. Uh, lately, I've been doing you know I'm moving into streaming my content, uh, movies. I've done a wave cable, and it's all about streaming stuff my my um on my hulu and um, netflix and different media stuff i've been streaming directly from either my roku my google tv and all the other streaming stuff but i i love something to really watch stuff via my my computer my pc my laptop so i decided to get um this it's it's a vstream um streaming from your PC to your TV wirelessly and supposedly it's supposed to be able to stream from the PC to any HDTV and full 1080p resolution HDMI audio and it's supposed to be easy to install and that's what we're gonna try to do today so let's just open the box quickly and see I'm not, I'm not too, really too big in opening st stuff but the opening but just wanted to there we go information um, installation window installation CD is your like a thumb drive that you're supposed to, I think you're supposed to um, plug it to your two form drives. That's something we have to read up about and then realize. Make some drive. Here's the box that I think goes to plugs to the to the TV, to the TV, yeah, the edge TV. Your power supply and um, no, plug in there already. It goes in there. There we go. What's the power supply? And oh, you put the HDMI connection. That's really it. So, without even reading the instruction from what I saw in the box, I'm pretty sure that taking a wild guess that it goes in there. And yeah. So let's put that sucker together and then we'll see if it really works. So we have everything kind of set up to go HGTV, laptop, and we have the box, we have the, the power supply hooked up, um, the little thumb drive thingy right here hooked up, and the blaster, whatever it is. And we have the HDMI connection right here, and then if you look at the size of it, it's almost the same size as, as my Roku box, uh, if not a little smaller because of the wrongness. So we're gonna take the HDMI cable and plug it in behind the TV. Alright, we can find it. And there we go in. And this message pops up. And then we're gonna take that from drive wireless um, connector and we're gonna plug it in on the USB of the laptop so it's in it's, um, this is the first time I've done it so it's, it's installing some kind of drivers 
and hopefully doesn't ask what is what is in it. And I think we may have to install um, the CD in there because it said it, the software wasn't. So we're gonna put in the software. The, CD in the drive. Install the wireless drivers of the stream wireless drivers. Drivers okay, have been installed. this pause and we'll come back when it's done okay so we got the message that the installation is complete um, during the installation it asked to remove the USB wireless sender or communicator and so I'm going to put it back in and hopefully the um, we should get a connection the driver should be in there and I get it saying that it's installing the driver software or it's trying to pick it up and I guess communication between those two is in order it's trying to installing the driver um, like I've said before in my other videos, I'm just, I, I've, I've got to get rid of all my cable. I have no cable at my house. So everything is I do is streaming through Hulu or, or Netflix or different media outlets on, online. So using my computer my TV is just another step to just get this not going back to cable right now. I think cable is a thing of the past unless they come up with some better idea than, than cable. Um, the settings on the display have changed on the laptop. Let's change again. I think it's it's played around with the settings automatically, and there we go. Just trying to find the best settings, uh, and right now it's a uh, resolution is a uh, one zero two four by seventy six. It's gonna go. I mean, it, it looks really. Everything looks perfect on there. There's a black screen on the computer, but let's see how fast it is in the sense of. I'm 
I'm moving the cursor across so you can, you can almost see that it's it's identical it's right down to the letter and then uh, I'm going to YouTube and play a video Just want to make sure that the it's, it's it's pretty much. Hey, what's up, Charlie here? Um, I had a question. Someone. Someone sent me an email and asked me uh, the best way. I'm not getting the voice. Make sure the voice is up on the TV. Okay, I'm not getting um, audio on there, which is strange. Because you would think that connecting through the HDMI cable would give you audio. So. So it's moving really quick. Everything seems to be working good except the audio. So I'm gonna play around the audio for a little while and see what's going on. Let's just turn this off while.